Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of another item from Pro Bike Tools. I bought this myself. Uh, it's a, it's a, a, a pump with a, with a gauge built into it, and it it fits on your bike here. It it comes with the bracket already, and I have. You can put it on and you can put your cage on over. That's also Pro uh, Bike Tools cage. Uh, the bracket is plastic, that's so you can clip it in more easily, but there's a safety one on it here. Make sure you put it this, this way and not the other way around. I saw somebody asking which way to put it. I wouldn't put it here, you can put it there. I wouldn't put it there because when it's like this, it's very unlikely to come up or down. But you could put a little bit of tape on it if you wanted it. So we will take it off, we will just pull this off and it pulls off simple like that. It looks lovely. Uh, it, it's made from aluminium or aluminium as to say. Uh, Pro Bike Tools, I think they're based in Surrey in uh, South uh, England. So we can push it right down there. We'll put the safety one on. I put the safety one on the second last notch. So we'll go inside and examine it up. It's Schrader and Presto and it, uh, it goes all the way up to 100 PSI. I recorded this earlier so that I could uh, show you what it looks like up close before we fit the bracket to the bike. So we'll just take it out of its box and this thing, and I already had it out of its box and it comes with all the stuff, register, your warranty and all this. Uh, uh, Pro, tool, Pro Bike Tools, uh, they stand by their stuff, they're a British company, I think they're in Kent. Well, and it looks really nice up close. Now when it's on, it's on the bike, as I, I told you earlier, when, when this is on the bike, the water one, you saw the way the water one was after, it fit, make sure you have it facing upwards like this because you don't want this one coming out. And then it has the two dust caps on each end. And like this one, and then we take, and then we go from, from the, the you can see the pre, it's tread on the strider and you can see it here on the very outside, like on your motor car, okay? So uh, we just put that back in there like that. Uh, it doesn't go the other way, okay? So you have to remember the Schrader goes in, in because the tread is only here for holding this in. And then of course your dust cap. So uh, when, when we take this out, as I showed you earlier, we'll just take this, this strap is just safety strap in case this falls off if you hit something really hard, right? Uh, that's made of plastic, but I think that's go not going to be a problem because it's lying, uh, it's shaped with the roundness of your bike. Might not be so suitable for uh, square bikes, but that's, that's what happens when you buy these uh, bikes that are square. I just put it back in here like where I had it there a moment ago. And uh, I will show you, this is what happens when you, are, when you are pumping and pumping. This one comes up and then you can read the gauge here and it's 40 up to 100. The reason we got it up to 100, a lot of racing bikes will have pressure in the regions of, of 80 and 90 in some of the tires. And some of the pumps I, I had, I pumped before, and the, the only problem we had with it was only went up to 60. So there you go, that's what it looks like up close. And uh, yes, uh, this is very good pro bike tour. Do you need a pump with you if you, if if you have a slow puncture or if you have if your tubeless tires and you don't have another tire with you you might have to pump it up just to get home so it's always good to have one with you uh, i'm not sure uh, all these uh, these uh, road bikes are all presto but if your friend has a mountain bike and he's going alongside you you will have to shrider along with it as well so you can help him out so i'll put a link in the description where i bought this pump and uh, uh, thank you very, very much for watching, and if you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe. 